Multiple storage devices is an important part of fault tolerance. Now, think about fault tolerance in terms of a company. Okay, uh, say for example, a company's data was to get corrupted or destroyed because a storage device is going down or getting corrupted or dying on us. Uh, that can have a serious consequence on how the company operates and uh, also have a serious impact on the profitability of the company. Therefore, what we need to do is that we need to have a scheme where we have fault tolerance for the data. Okay. Now, one of the best ways to prevent data loss is to use RAID, which is an acronym for Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disks. Now, the four most common types of RAIDs are RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, and RAID 10. We will now look at RAID 0. So we've got our data at the top and we've got our two hard drives. And now let's see how RAID 0 handles our data. So in case of RAID 0, half of the data is getting stored on one drive and the other half of the data is getting stored on the other drive. Now let's assume that uh, one of the two hard drives either stops working or gets corrupted. Unfortunately, in RAID 0, the loss of data cannot be recovered. The data is lost, is, is gone forever. In the case of RAID 1, the data is duplicated or copied on multiple hard drives for fault tolerance. So uh, all the drives have the same data. So if one of the hard drives uh, goes down, there's always a copy on the other hard drives. Let's assume that one of the hard drives uh, stops working for whatever reason, either it gets corrupted or it dies. Let's see what happens to our data. In the event of a hard drive failure, no data would be lost uh, for the simple reason because we are maintaining multiple copies or mirroring the data onto multiple drives. Uh, so we have multiple copies of the same data, okay? So uh, in the event that there is a hard drive failure, uh, there will be no loss to data because we have multiple copies of the same. Okay, now uh, let's talk about RAID 5. Now in this uh, configuration, the data is stripped across multiple drives along with the parity uh, information. Now uh, in a little bit we'll uh, talk about parity and how parity is used to recreate data in case of a hardware failure, in case of a hard drive uh, either getting corrupted or uh, you know going down on you, or getting destroyed, or uh, you know st stop working. So uh, let's see how uh, in this uh, scheme the data is handled. Now, let's assume one of the hard drives uh, either gets corrupted or uh, stops working, and so there's, a, there's a, a failure of the hard drive. I talked about parity earlier. Now, uh, we will, we're going to be discussing that in detail here. Uh, the parity information is used to recreate the lost data. Let me explain. So how does uh, parity recreate data? Here, exclusive OR is the key. Now, exclusive OR is different from the, the regular OR, that if the two bits are different, 
the answer is 1. If the two bits are the same, uh, the answer would be 0. Okay, so let's see, uh, you know, with an example, how the parity is calculated using uh, exclusive OR. Now, drive 1 has a 0 and drive 2 has a 0. Now, because both are zeros and they're same, therefore, the parity would be 0. Second line, uh, drive 1 has a 0, drive 2 has a 1. Now, because this is one, a 0 and a 1, so they're different, so the parity would be the exclusive OR is, gives you 1. Now, if drive 1 has 1 and drive 2 has a 0, because again, they are 1s and 0, they are different, exclusive OR gives you a 1 as a parity. Now, if drive 1 has a 1 and drive 2 has a 1 because they are same, exclusive OR gives you a 0. Now, if, uh, say, for example, drive number 2 goes down, uh, then we will use the parity to recreate the lost data. See how the new drive number 2 gets data that was uh, first on drive number 2 that went dead on us. So uh, we will be using parity uh, to recreate the lost data. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be using the parity information to recreate uh, the, the data. Now, uh, what we do is uh, we've got the parity by doing an exclusive OR. Now to get the data back, uh, we will take the existing data that's, that's still good and do an exclusive OR with the parity. Now, drive one has a zero and the parity has a zero. Therefore, uh, because they're the same, exclusive all gives a zero for uh, drive, the new drive two. And that is exactly the same as the data that used to be on the old uh, drive two. Now going to the next line, uh, drive one has a zero and parity has a one. So when we do an exclusive OR between a, one, a zero and a one, uh, because they're different, we get one. Uh, this is exactly the same as the data that was in the old uh, hard drive 2. Going on to the third line, uh, drive 1 has a 1 and the parity has a 1. So if we do an exclusive OR between a 1 and a 1, we get a 0. So the 0 goes into the new hard drive number 2, which is exactly the same as the old hard drive number 2. Uh, last line, drive 1 has a one and the parity has a zero. So if we were to do an exclusive OR between a one and a zero, we get, uh, get a one because they're different. And that's what goes into the new drive, uh, drive number two. And if you notice, this is exactly the same as the old hard drive number two. So you see now, uh, the data in the new hard drive two is exactly the same as the data that was that used to be on the old hard drive number two. Now, on to uh, RAID 10. RAID 10 is a combination of uh, RAID 1 and uh, RAID 0. Therefore, it's zero, uh, 1 and 0 is 10. That's how we, we get the name of RAID 10. Now, what happens is one set, uh, one set of drives are mirrored, and then you have a second set of drives that are mirrored, and then you have the data split between these two mirrored sets. So uh, in, uh, in this case, drive one and drive two are mirrored and drive three and drive four are mirrored. What if two hard drives were to go down in this scheme? This scheme can't tolerate uh, two, even two hard drives going down. And uh, as long as the two hard drives that are going down are from two different mirror sets. That's it from the, for this video. If you liked it, uh, please uh, kindly give it a thumbs up. 
and also leave a comment down in the section below and if you would like to see more videos like this please subscribe and also please share thank you